thank you. I'm here, and uh, it's been quite a journey uh, since I was introduced to your uh, way of thinking and way of being. And I've worked past uh, all the emotional stages. And, um, Not past them, because those emotions help you all day, every day. Don't work past them, just understand what they mean when you have them. I could try to control them. Don't give them up. It's like the fuel gauge on your car. You want to know when your tank's empty. So back to um, a few months ago, or it was a while back, um, I had a, I still have the business. I have a few businesses. One of them, um, I've been involved in a very long time. And uh, it wasn't very profitable, but I was just keeping it open because I have so many people that work there. And There's a lot of just, reasons to do a lot of things. It's not work. always about money. Right. And that's Sometimes it's about me. fun, co-creating. Yeah. So I left it open. Left um, it open? Yeah. I, I, you told me to just close your eyes, think of what it would like, be like to close it. And it, I didn't want to close it, of course. So um, fast forward now. Um, oh, it's you know, actually quite slow forward. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Uh, it's opened and it's actually, um, we're now transforming into a diagnostic center instead of a medical center. But um, I guess what I really wanted to tell you thank you and for that. And um, I am uh, finding it hard to, you know, I know who I am. And, um, That's a hard thing to keep up with because you're changing every single day. Right, right. And, and um, you're attracting now all these new different people because of who you're becoming. Because as... of your bag of marbles. And because it's fun. And because it's important for expansion to have change. So then, you know, the ego... Um, is important because it's part of your focusing I mechanism. I call him my amigo, but sometimes he's not my amigo. Yeah. So, you know, the well, ego is always there. And um, what, just, can you briefly define ego in the way you mean it? Yes. So, for instance, um, my wife, Shay, she's here with me. And um, I love her very much. And we've been on this journey together. And, um, and then a lot of people in my life that have helped me push, you know, push everything forward. You're off the subject of the question. So the ego is... When someone tells me something that is correct, but I, you know, I get really maybe defensive or I'm just like, well... well maybe we just want to help you define this. You in your attitude of ego, maybe holding a bag of marbles that completely matches your inner being's bag of marbles, which means you are on fire. And that makes other people say, mm, big ego over there. And we say... Alignment, empowerment, clarity, certainty, sureness. Sometimes, when you've been sort of comparing and calibrating to other humans, you might be holding that bag of marbles that is ego, and you might not be in calibration with your inner being. You might be wanting to prove yourself right against this or against this or against this. But let's not bash the ego because the ego is the focus. So let's say sometimes you're focused egotistically. Your selfish point of view is the only point of view you have. And sometimes you're in sync with your inner being and sometimes you're not. But let's call it aligned or not aligned rather than ego. Don't take your ability to focus out of your deliberate creative process. It matters. I agree. Helpful. Yes. <laughs> yes. So these people around you, have they been telling you that your ego is out of hand when they disagree with you? In other words, why did you bring them in to the conversation during our question about how do you define ego? What oh, made no, you talk about them then? It's not, it's not them. It's actually me. I'm... Well, it always is. But why did you bring them up? <laughs> because, um, because they're the people around me that I rely on to to, uh, in conjunction with my own guidance system to know that I'm pushing everything towards the right direction. See, look at it this way. If you've been tending to your bag of marbles, we can talk in more detail if you want to about something happening and it affecting you, hand-wringing is exaggerated. 
And then you deliberately find easy to find good feeling existing positive aspects about that subject so that you activate easy to find good feeling attributes aspects that are in alignment with what your inner being knows that's what you want to rely on all these people that everybody's relying on they may or they may not not may or may not they are cooperative components but are they cooperative components to this bag of marbles or to this bag of marbles and that's not up to you that's up to what they did before they showed up that's about what they've been thinking about that's about what part of the television they watch every night and so you can't control what somebody else's point of attraction is but if you will make sure that you are in sync with this powerful powerful highly positively influential part of you then you don't say things like I rely on them instead you say I rely on my alignment and my alignment produces a synergy between me and my inner being which causes a gathering of cooperative components that's off the charts that hardly anybody can understand I look magic in fact I look magic Esther got a phone call this morning from the dry cleaners <laughs> we found a piece of clothing and Esther said thank you 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 because it was something I really care about was it an undershirt and did it have little sparkly under threads in it yes that's it Esther said thank you for calling me back thank you for calling me back now they were gonna find it because they had it but they called her because she found existing matches in other words she didn't let herself stay in that not because she was trying to control the outcome of the missing garment but because she can't stand to feel like that that sucketh <laughs> <clears throat> yeah